Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make some super cute little pendants inspired by last week's live stream where I take a little painting and put it in between a couple of pieces of glass to make a pendant. So what you're going to need for this project are some paintings. These are alcohol inks uh, painted on Yupo paper. You can do watercolor. You can even take a photo or a magazine page. It's fine. You're going to need 20 gauge wire. I have two pieces of glass that are cut. They're about an inch by an inch and a half. Uh, you can cut them yourself or you can get them cut at a stained glass store. I have some aluminum tape and I have my tools. So these are the pieces I previously did on the live stream. This was inspired by Amanda and it's the alcohol inks painted directly on the glass and then two pieces of glass put together and taped around the outside. I used a, a craft tape and unfortunately it seems to be peeling off a little bit so for a pendant it might not be so good unless you found an adhesive to stick it on. So if you guys know of any good tape that a metallic tape uh, a good alternative let me know in the comments below for sure uh, this was a little pendant I did also with the craft tape so that's why today I'm going to try it with the aluminum tape so to cut the glass I have a ceramic tile that I'm going to be cutting on I have my ruler I have a glass cutter a sharpie and these plier things this is the package it's called up Graded grozer and they're just like a something that you could grip the glass with to break it I just kind of measured out uh, one and a half inches and just marked it in several spots and so now I'm just going to line it up with my ruler and take my glass cutter and I don't have a good glove so I'm just going to wear a household glove but if you have better gloves that would be much recommended or you could possibly go to a stained glass store and just get them to cut you some pieces which would be easier so definitely kids don't do this at home so we're going to take our glass cutter here and we're just going to like bring it down straight up and down and just do one fell swoop and yeah so these are actually called grozing pliers there's a curved side and a flat side so you want the flat side to be on top here near the where you've scored it like say about a quarter inch away from the score lines we're just going to stick that in there and I'm just going to bend it when you bend it down it does a break so now we've done with that and like I said be careful and wear gloves if you have them so now what we want to do is make um, maybe a little narrower so we're just going to go ahead I'll remove my glove and I'm just going to take this and measure about an inch so we're just going to go here and just do a little like inch and you want it to be uh, even so do a few score marks if you have one of those rulers that's like see-through and you could see the the kind of grid and line it up that would be great but if you just have a regular ruler just like go like that so you have it in a few spots and then same thing we're going to get our cutter and we're just going to hold this in place I'm gonna you can't see me but I'm gonna stand up so let's just put this like and we'll remember when we do it again just how close we are to those lines and we're gonna take our cutter hold it straight up and down and give it a good strong cut okay so same thing we can put our glove back on to hold the glass and then take these with the flat side uh, on the top near the bend near the near the score line hold it and then just like break it downwards so to file the edges I have a Dremel and if you don't have a Dremel you can get a um, a drill and just get these little uh, Dremel bits uh, that you can put in the end of your drill so I'm just gonna put on my glove again and hold this and then the Dremel has a foot pedal so I'm just gonna push on the foot pedal we're just gonna hold it tightly and just turn it on and just go like that gently to do the edges and then when you get caref careful you don't like slice it across the piece because that can ruin it and then just gradually rotate it and do like your 
your corners, get them nice and smooth around. Make sure your edges are smooth. You really just want to go around and smooth the whole thing and then rotate. Same thing. You're going to go around the whole piece and uh, you might want to wear a mask so you don't get any glass dust in your mouth and uh, you're just going to smooth around your edges of your two pieces. So I'm going to take my glass pieces. Uh, honestly, I didn't do a great job cutting them. I definitely need a better uh, Dremel bit. Um, one with a diamond tip is going to work better to grind the glass. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to use these crappy little pieces and hope they get camouflaged with my paintings. So these are the paintings that I used for the first uh, live stream tutorial. And I'm going to just use some of these to do so I'm going to what I would do is I would just like take the piece that you have like I said you can use plexiglass as well and just find a good composition so you just take the piece you you already you know have the shape of it and this just go around and see what looks good for good to you so you just keep going around and choose a piece it kind of depends on I guess the vibe that you want like if you want like sort of a more darker under underwater vibe this is really interesting like that so you can uh, trace it with a pencil or you can just go ahead with your exacto knife and just cut it like that that works well too just careful it doesn't slip or you can score it and cut it after with your scissors so whatever works best for you so now we have our piece remove that and then you're going to take this this one's really crappy so i'm going to put it at the back and we're going to just line them up like that and then we're going to get our tape so let's just get some tape i'll just um i'm just going to cut a piece off so it's easier to work with i'm going to cut some strips of the aluminum tape and i'm not quite sure what width i'm going to need yet we want to try to keep them somewhat consistent it's going to make sure this is cut like at a right angle so it can be pretty straight so we'll just cut that across and then we want these pieces to be somewhat consistent so say we are just gonna just go like this and I'm thinking probably about half an inch so let's just measure the half inch bring it across and hopefully that's going to be a good size so we're going to do that and this tape is very sticky so it should work well and um, so this is good for the silver the gold I'm going to have to find another solution to the gold because uh, I have have tried copper foil before but the trouble with the copper foil it's made to be soldered on top of and it actually will change color so this is actually the hard part is just to get it even on there so if it's easier for you maybe you could draw a line on it or something so I'm just I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to cover the painting but like if we just go here just see where it's going I think it's going to be easier if we actually do this before we place it on the piece so if we go here you've got like quite of like a very small amount there the half an inch might be too much so let's just bring it on here line them up Okay, we're just going to line them up here and then bring this to the back and actually I don't mind if it covers up the back because I did a really big bad job cutting these so we're going to bring this to the back this is very sticky so it's going to stay in place and then we're just going to rub it with the back of your fingernail so that actually works really really well so we've got that and then you can use your exacto knife just to cut it out a little bit and then yeah, this was half an inch, which seems like a little bit much. So let's just try a little bit less this time. We'll do like three eighths of an inch or something. So we're just going to bring that, bring it across. Okay, and then we're just going to cut this and we're just going to place it all around the outside to hold it in place. Now this one, we want to be careful to make it similar to the other side so if you can just kind of give it a little push there then you can get an idea of how much it's in there should be pretty good a little bit more yeah try not to rub it down until you're like sure that it's a good it's a good size so that could be good and the other thing you could do is just cut it 
before you wrap it around that's probably a better idea and then you don't have to mess around with it after so we've got that and then we're going to bring this to the back so 3 8 seems pretty good I guess it really depends on your pane of glass and how thick it is I'm trying to use like a thinner pane of glass so that's pretty cool like that and then we just have to do the top and the bottom trying to get it somewhat even and then you know I'm going to cut this before I wind it around I think it's going to be easier so we're just going to bring that there perfect and then just kind of wind it around so this is great it's got a nice like solid base to it don't worry too much about what it looks like behind there this is fun and I should do a tutorial sometime of how I actually do the stained glass ones there might already be tutorials online there probably is how to do a, a stained glass pendant I used to do them all the time but I honestly don't use a lot of stained glass anymore I don't like the fumes I find them very toxic and so uh, so there we go so there's our little piece looks super cool and now we're going to wrap it with wire so I took an 18 uh, inch piece of the 20 gauge wire and what I'm going to do is just like, leave a couple inches at the top and just bend it around the corners so we'll start with that oh I don't want to you know go too towards the middle but just like bend it and then what I'm doing here is I bend it around here and then I flip it to the back and then a straight line down the back like about a little less than quarter inch from the edge and then bring it around to the front and then do that corner okay same thing so now flip it to the back we're just doing the corner really around there and then bring it across looks like it's about a quarter inch see and then flip it again to the front make sure these are like staying in place and then bring that around the corner and then again to the back okay so we're going to bring that up here all the way up and then the same thing we're going to go around the corner here and then just back again we're going to go around one more time if you want so same thing we're going to go around underneath it and then down and then around and then across again and then around and up and then around and if we've got like these double things going down now this one you want to make sure you take this and bend it straight up sort of centered right there you can take your flat, flat pliers to make it more of an angle if you like and then just take this end and do a full turn around okay and we're just going to do a full turn around you can even turn it a couple of times this is 18 inches it's just enough to do a one and a half by one inch piece and then to do the bail just push that towards the front and then you can do a single a double a triple loop depending on how much wire you have so I'll just do a double loop here and then bring this around to the front again and just like one or two rounds now I could have like cut the wire longer and then done another continuous wire round to do the decorative stuff it can be finished like that if we want to add more wire we can add see let's get another 18 inches so if you want to make it a little more decorative you can just take this add another wire just going to bring this around here and then bring it around to the front okay and then we can do some little loop loop de loops around it to make it a little more interesting especially if your background's like a little bit plain it'd be nice to do something a little more fancy so we can just go around and then after I'll compare it to show you uh, you know you can even like wrap around the whole piece if you want that's not a problem at all so we're just going to kind of do some little loops to make it but just a little bit more interesting but you have you definitely have options like if you want to keep it simple it's fine but if you want to 
do some little loops it's cool too so it just really depends on the look that you want so we're going to bring that down here and then after I'll, I'll compare it to the other one to show you guys so now you're just going to have to like anchor it back here a little bit so if we're just going to push it through here like that and then bring that through you can use your pliers if you have to yeah, we'll just bring that around and then what you can do from there is bring it to the front okay we'll just bring it up to the front and then we can do some more squiggles so there we go just some more little squiggly lines around and we can just like keep going with it and make it as ornate as you want and you can always pull it back if you don't like what, how, what's happening if you don't like the look you can definitely pull it back and uh and keep it simple so we're just going to go around here like i find it's a little bit busy but um i'm just going to leave it like that for the sake of the tutorial so let's just clip one end we'll just clip that little end here and then around here so i ended up using a total of about 18 plus 12 maybe about 30 inches altogether but it's really going to depend on your uh, on your piece so there we go so we have it like that and then this is the other one that i had done with it with the squiggles just to one side so the squiggles to one side i think are a little bit nicer but you can also like just play around with it and see like if you want the whole thing squiggled it's fine and if you want to pull it back you can you can pull it back as well too so you can just play around with it say you have a photo in there you can stick your stick your photograph in there so i ended up pulling it back a little bit to one side and finished it over here and like i said the sky is the limit depending on what your background is i wanted to show that a little bit more so you can just play around with it and then uh, have fun so thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And also, if you want to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire, wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I do have a mailing list so if you'd like to join my mailing list I'll link it up below and I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. And brand new I have a new art channel called Heather Boyd Art so if you're interested in mixed media, uh, watercolor, inks, uh, drawing, all kinds of things where I combine wire with art be sure to check out my new channel I'll link it up below as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.